Guys, how are you doing? Holy fucking shit, Frisk Undertale. Now, there is a little bit of a gimmick to this stream. Now, the gimmick is I wanted to think of a bunch of Undertale related food that's in the game and try to replicate it. I'm not going to show all of them, I'll only show the first one. So butterscotch cinnamon pie. I couldn't replicate that, so instead I got um these little buttery sweets. <laughs> This is the best thing I could do. I should totally name myself Chara. That's right, Chara. We're, we're gonna have that. We are having this debate again. Chara. Oh no, we guys, we have fallen down. Holy shit, that's an Undertale reference. Golly, you must be so confused. Just, I need to get lied to his Monokuma voice for Flowey. Um, your mother will teach me. She will. Let's do a little bit, a little bit of trolling. <laughs> oh my god, it's Goat Mother. On my first playthrough. Years ago, I called her Goat Jesus. You sent Mono Flowey incense. Okay, hang on, this is important. Howdy, I'm Flowey, Flowey the flower. <laughs> hmm, you're new to the underground, aren't you? Ancient fusions between diversions and door keys. One must solve them to move from room to room. Please adjust yourself to the sight of them. Do I slap up the dummy? Do I slap up the dummy? Flo okay, I'll flow the dummy. So I bought these little like buttery sweets because they're like my butterscotch cinnamon replacement, but it has another language on it, right? So it says sugar free on one side. Hang on, sugar free on one side. On the other side, it's a sans. Holy fucking shit. Oh, I have a difficult request to ask of you. Get bitches. On the Undertale wiki, I had, there was like a long list of like consumable foods, right? And it says for monster candy, has a distinct non-licorice flavor. So what did I get? I got licorice. This little licorice thing, it looks like seaweed. That is fucking disgusting. Lily's roasting me. <laughs> Look at its balls. Why are its balls wiggling around? Okay, do I remember this? Do I remember this room? Ah, oh, step, one step too far. Um, I will push you around. You're just a lame ass rock. Rock you, bitch. So you're a good rock. It's not hard to just stay in place. Okay, listen here, you're cheese. Cheese, not mature, no, no, no. This is a mild cheddar, right, big boy. Toby Fox, what sort of cheese is this? Moldy. Okay. Nap stop look! <laughs> Among us. Sus. I'm gonna flirt with Napster Bluck. Napster Bluck's quite cool. You're real funny? So am I, Napster. Oh, fuck. <laughs> my, my right arrow key fell off. Come on, show me your really distinguished hat. Dapper Bluck! He's so distinguished. Oh my gosh. Can I buy a spider donut? They gave me a spider donut because I'm playing in October, Halloween and stuff. Um, I would have thought, you know, a little donut with a spider on it might be really cool. I couldn't find one. So instead I got these little Jaffa cake donuts. Look at it, it's so tiny. That is a Jaffa cake donut. Eat your greens, whatever I don't want to. I want to eat your mother. Sean just sent me a picture of a really intimidating Amogo. Why is it standing like this? It's like, it's leaning in. It's like very threatening. It's just like, can I ask it out? You have my permission. Oh my god, it's Mike Wazowski. It's CEO of YouTube. I can't pronounce her surname. Oh my god, it's Mother Dearest. Well, I suppose I cannot hide it any longer, my friend. My friend? My child. <laughs> my friend! That's good, Toriel. I'm not exactly a fan of snail pie. Oh my god, a room of my own? Oh my god. I'm not going in there. I want to look in the mirror. It's you! It's you! I love the Undertale soundtrack. You found a slice of butterscotch cinnamon pie. Poor Toriel. Look at her, she's so lonely. She's been living in the ruins for so long, with no one to talk to besides Froggets and Wimsons who don't understand her. You come along and now I just want to fucking leave. I want to talk to the funny skeletons. What is the book you are reading, Toriel? Never mind. You wish to know how to return home, my child. Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins, my child. And when we exit the rest of the underground, my child. I am going to destroy it, my child. No one will ever be able to leave again, my child. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate, my child. I have seen it again and again, my child. They come, my child. They leave, my child. They die, my child. You naive child, my child. If you leave the ruins, my child. They, my child. Asgore, my child, will kill you, my child. I am only protecting you. Don't you understand, my child? Do not try to stop me, my child. This is your final warning, my child. You want to leave so badly, my child. Hmm, my child. You are just like the others, my child. There is only one solution to this, my child. Prove yourself, my child. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive, my child. Do not say Asgore, my child. <laughs> <laughs> While well, I hear his fingers in his ass. 
That's our score. I know you want to go home, my child, but please, go upstairs now, my child. I promise I will take good care of you here, my child. I know we don't have much, my child, but we can have a good life here, my child. Why are you making this so difficult, my child? Please, my child, go upstairs, my child. Pathetic, my child. Is it not, my child? I cannot save even a single child, my child. Cock and ball torture, my child. You would just be unhappy trapped in here, my child. The ruins are very small once you get used to them, my child. My expectations, my child. My loneliness, my child. My fear, my child. For you, my child, my child, I will put them aside, my child. <laughs> if you truly wish to leave the ruins, my child, I will not stop you, my child. However, there seems to be one. Please do not come back, my child. I hope you understand, my child. Aww. Goodbye, my child, my child. Goodbye, Toriel. Get the weed killer. Get the weed killer. You think you're really smart, don't you? In this world, it's it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a k kill or k kill me world. So you were able to play by your own rules. You spared the life of a single person. I bet you feel really great. You didn't kill anybody this time. But what you do if you meet a relentless killer? You'll die and you'll die and you'll die until you're tired of trying. Will you kill out of frustration? I can't see him as anything other than Nagi Tokamida from Danganronpa 2. What game are we playing? Oh shit! <laughs> oh my god! There's an imposter among us. Is there? I think there's a funny skeleton among us. It's a tough looking branch. It's too heavy to pick up. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Oh my god. What's going on? Holy fucking shit. Is that? Is that? Oh my god, is that? Is that? Is that? Oh my god, is that Sans? I'm Sans. Sans the skill. Oh, I know Sans. I know who you are. I'm actually supposed to be on Watch for Humans right now, but you know. I don't really care about capturing anybody. And my brother Papyrus? He's a human hunting fanatic. I don't know what voice to give Sans. It's always like a deep voice. Everyone's. Like, everyone has, like, agreed that he has, like, a deep voice. But that's it. Okay. Okay. Right. <laughs> you know what's up, brother? It's been eight days and you still haven't recalibrated your puzzles. I will capture a human. Then I, the Great Papyrus, will get all the things I utterly deserve. Respect. Recognition. I will finally be able to join the Royal Guard. People will ask to be my friend. I will bathe in a shower of kisses every morning. For my brother. <laughs> hey, take it easy. I've got a ton of work done today. A skeleton. They spin! They spin! Sans! Oh my- Oh my god! Is that- A human? Human! You shall not pass this area! I, the Great Papyrus, will stop you! I will then capture you! You will then be delivered to the capital! Then- Then- I'm not sure what happens next! Fight you in cold blood! <laughs> Did something move? Was it my imagination? I can't even see moving things. If something was moving, for example, a human. I'll make sure it never moves again. Doggo is too... Suspicious. You pet doggo. Pet, 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 pot, pet, pet, pet. Look at this snowman. Hello, snowman friend. Hello, Mario. I want to see the world, but I cannot move. If you'll be so kind, traveler, please take a piece of me and bring it very far away. I will happily do that, snowman friend. So I need to explain my mentality behind this one. I don't know if this is like a worldwide thing, but in the UK at the very least, we have like these little things called snowballs. They're like they're like little chocolatey ball things, but they're filled with like marshmallow. They got like, it's like a coconut coating on the outside. It's really nice. I couldn't find any of those. So I just got marshmallows. So I just have these squishy. Oh. North, ice. South, ice. West, ice. East, snowed in down. And ice. Oh no, the human arrives. I've hydrated plenty. Maybe I should. Maybe I sh maybe I may may maybe no no. <laughs> My brother and I have created some puzzles. I think you will find this one quite shocking. Okay, you can go ahead now. I need to find an orb. So for an orb on my head, on Sean's birthday, I went over to his. Um, but I planned on taking some balloons to him, and I forgot to bring the balloons. So I have some balloons on hand. <laughs> I'm just gonna blow up some balloon. I'm gonna blow up a balloon. I think that's a good size for an orb. I have an orb! Okay. I mean, Frisk doesn't have an orb yet. There we go. Hold this, please! I am, Papyrus. I'm way ahead of you. Um, you silly, silly Papyrus. Incredible, you slippery snake! The next puzzle would not be easy. It is designed by my brother, Sans. Yeah. Hello. Would you like some ice cream? Oh, I would. I have a little chocolate ice cream. <laughs> I was trying to find the nicest looking ice cream cone I could find, specifically a cone, because it had to be a cone at the very least. Because content, do you guys want to watch me suffer? I'm going to bite into the ice cream. 
<laughs> I'm fine. It was just obviously biting into it. It was very cold. As you could have expected, it was an ice cream. It looks like a snowball. Actually, it's a snow decker heat. Human, I hope you're ready for... Sans, where's the puzzle? It's right there, on the ground. Trust me, there's no way they can get past this one. Sans, I didn't do anything. Oops, I knew I should have used today's crossword instead. What? Crossword? I can't believe you said that. In my opinion, Junior Jumble is easily the hardest. Fuck. I'm literally just going to eat one strand of ice. Uh, spaghetti. Very scrunkly, I can just... <laughs> it's very bendy, it's not very edible. You could probably hear that crunch. Listen to the crunch, right? Oh my god, lesser dog! Yo, we can pet it! What's that smell? Where's that smell? If you're a smell, identify your smell. I love that line. <laughs> identify your smell. When I pull this switch, it will make a puzzle that has never been seen before. Not even I will know the solution. Oh my god. Are we gonna get the really difficult one? No. You silly, silly papyrus. I really need someone to calculate the chances of that happening if this were randomised. Frisk, you silly, silly snail. Behold! The gauntlet of deadly terror. I am about to do it. I just love the dog. Just <laughs> the dog is having the time of its life. This challenge, it seems maybe too easy to feed the human with. Yeah, we can't use this one. I'm a skeleton with standards. Oh my God, it's, 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 it's the last woods. <laughs> human, allow me to tell you about some complex feelings. The desire to have a cool, smart person think you are cool. These feelings, they must be what you are feeling right now. <laughs> I can't be your friend. You are a human. I must capture you. Then I can fulfill my lifelong dream. Powerful, popular, prestigious. That's Papyrus. The newest member of the Royal Guard. Papyrus, I like your bow. <laughs> so you finally reveal your ultimate feelings. Oh my God, is that a dangan? I can make spaghetti. Oh no, you're meeting all of my standards. <laughs> I guess this means I have to go on a date with you. So you won't fight. Then let's see if you can handle my fabled cock. Papyrus, you're so silly. You're so silly. Oh fuck, you're blue now. That's my attack. He said the line, guys. He said the line. Papyrus dabs. I will spare you, human. Now's your chance to be a big shot. Do you want to be friends with me? Well then, I guess I can make an allowance for you. I'll be at home being a cool friend. Feel free to come by and have that date. <laughs> what, have you seen the guy with two jobs before? Fortunately, two jobs means twice as many legally required breaks. Can I grow up? He's when I come. I'm busy. So what'd you think? My brother. He's quite cool. Oh yeah. I wanted to ask you something. Have you ever heard of a talking flower? Get close and get fucked, Lamo. Go away, Papyrus. Not right now. Not right now, Papyrus. I'm sorry. Hi, Undyne. I'm here with my daily report. Regarding that human I called about earlier, I fought them valiantly. What? Did I capture them? Well, no. Oh my god. Holy shit. What is this? Yo, did you see the way she was staring at you? That was awesome. They are annoying. Oh no, it's Aaron. Not Aaron, I will flex. You flex. Aaron flexes twice as hard. Hello, this is Papyrus. How did I get this number? It was easy. I just dialed every number sequentially until I got yours. Is that true? Are you wearing a gross bandage? Yeah. Oh shit, oh fuck. Ah! Run, 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 run. This cheese has been here so long, a magical crystal has grown around it. I'm get the cheese. What's a star? Can you touch it? Can you eat it? Can you kill it? Are you a star? Hello, this is Papyrus. I'm really struggling with my Papyrus voice. It really is killing my throat. <laughs> Remember when I asked you about clothes? The friend who wanted to know, her opinion of you is very murdery. Well, worry not dear human. Papyrus would never betray you. I told her you were not wearing a gross bandage. I told her you were wearing a dusty tutu. I know you would never ever wear a dusty tutu, but your safety is more important than fashion. Papyrus, you fucking- Hey there. Notice you were here. I'm Onion San. Onion Sans. You here? You're visiting Waterfall, huh? It's great here, huh? You love it, huh? Yeah, me too. It's my big favorite. Even though the water's getting so shallow here, I I have to sit down all the time. But hey, hey, hey that's okay. It beats me into the city. 
I'm living in a crowded aquarium. Like all my friends did. Hey there. That's the end of this room. I'll see, I'll, I'll see you around. Have a good time. And waterfall. Fuck off. <laughs> the orb! I will take the artifact. You're carrying too many dogs. What? A dog! You deployed the dog. <laughs> the dog absorbs the artifact. I'm doing it, Sean, don't worry. Yo, you got an umbrella? Awesome! Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats up bad guys and never loses. If I was a human, I would wet the bed every night. I love this scene here. This is such a nice scene. Remove monster kit and it becomes much better. Yo, you go on ahead. Don't worry about me. I always find a way to get through. Fucking moron. Holy shit. This is an Undyne reference. Pippis? Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I've forgotten where to go. It's been so long I've forgotten. Ah, she's right there. We're running for our lives. Oh fuck, is it dead end? Oh fuck. Silly Undyne. Sounds like it came from over here. Oh. You've fallen down, haven't you? Are you okay? Here, get up. Chara, huh? Chara. <laughs> That's a nice name. My name is... These not viewing this endless cycle of worthless garbage. Feels your determination. Anyone watching this stream? Oh shit, a dummy. Me. Oh fuck. I'll use your soul to cross the barrier. I'll use your mum. Who cares? Who cares? I don't need friends. <laughs> I've got knives. I'm... I don't know. Get pissed on. Get absolutely pissed on. Oh no. You guys look like you're having fun. Oh no. I just wanted to say hi. Oh no. Hey. My house is up here. Okay, I'll be honest. I really like doing Napster Blick's voice. I really like doing Napster Blick's voice. I'm gonna go to their house. Oh. You really came. Sorry. I wasn't expecting that. Oh. You hungry? This is a good sandwich. After a great meal, I like to lie on the ground and feel like garbage. I really like doing his voice. <laughs> Well, that was nice. Thank you. The huge power, equivalent to seven human souls, attacks the barrier. I'll be destroyed. Um, actually, uh, how are there human magicians if humans uh, have no magic? Oh, I'm not doing that voice for Alphys. I don't know what my tiny voice would be. No, so hung dies. No, muscles are uh, not cute. Oh, I have to disagree. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm gonna buy a Tem Flake, just one Tem Flake. So Temmy Flakes. That was a very difficult one. So what I wanted to find was some form of like cereal that was like rainbowy. Just some sort of like colourful cereal. I didn't find anything rainbowy. So I just got the most plain ass looking cereal I could find. I've got cinnamon squares. Just some plain ass cereal. <laughs> Because look at it, it looks like just very plain, very simple. I was trying to find something very colourful. Not even corn? No, because that's too... Cornflakes have a shape to them. This is just a square. They're all just squares. Cornflakes probably would have been better, to be fair. I bought one Tem Flake. I get one little square. So I could wash it down with piss. Or... I could wash it down with vodka. Behind you. With the power of seven human souls, our king. King Asgore Dreamer. Become a god. This is your only chance of redemption. Give up your soul or I'll tear it from your body. And I help you fight. Hey, you aren't gonna tell my parents about this, are you? I need more Tem Flakes. Oh. Someday, I'd like to climb this mountain we're all buried under. Oh my fucking god, it's Madeline. Yo, I know I'm not supposed to be here, but yo, you're human, right? <laughs> Yo, I I hate your guts. Oh, man, I, I'm such a turd. I'm I'm gonna go home now. I've never actually done nothing before. What happens if you do nothing? I I am slipping. I've never 
seen that before. I, I do feel kind of bad now because I never actually, I know, I've never seen what happens if you let them fall. Seven human souls and King Asgore become a god. Six. That's how many we have collected thus far. Through your seventh and final soul, this world will be transformed. You're standing in the way of everybody's hopes and dreams. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. Oh shit. I'm green now. That's her attack. As long as you're green, you can't escape. Unless you learn to face danger head on. For years, we've dreamed of a happy ending. And now sunlight's just within our reach. I won't let you snatch it away from us. Fuck, 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 fuck. <laughs> Honestly, I'm doing you a favor. No human has ever made it past Asgore. Killing you now is an act of mercy. <laughs> Alpha's told me humans are determined. I see now what she meant by that. Oh, so close to no hit. I was so close to no hit. I'm slipping a little, but it's fine. I don't think she actually gets, she gets you in again. I think I can fly. Oh, fuck. Hey, what's up? I was just thinking. You, me, and Undyne should all hang out sometime. I forgot he calls you. Stop running away. I think I will continue to run away. Oh. I'll go back for him in a moment. Oh, my. So hot. I can't give up. I will give her the water. <laughs> She just gives up. Oh, okay, 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 okay. I was thirsty, so I came over from Waterfall to get a drink. I don't know why that's the voice I'm giving them. Oh, my god. <laughs> I don't know what that was, I just made it up on the spot. I'm Dr. Alphys, I'm Asgore's royal scientist. <laughs> I'm not doing the snores every time. <laughs> I'm not one of the bad guys. Actually, since you stepped out of the ruins, I've, um, I've been observing your journey through the, my console. Oh no. Oh yes. <laughs> Welcome, beauties, to today's quiz show. I can't do Metaton's voice other than just being very over the top. Oh boy, I can already tell it's going to be a great show. Answer correctly, or you die. Let's start with an easy one. What is the prize for answering correctly? Right, sounds like you get it. Here's another easy one for you. Two trains, train A and train B, similar thing. Would you smooch a ghost? <laughs> just, Alphys doesn't have an answer, and the time is only going up. Heck yeah! <laughs> Great answer! I love it! Who does Dr. Alphys have a crush on? <laughs> Why would someone outfit an amusement robot with brutal combat capabilities? Simple! To impress Mr. Asgore Dreamer, of course. <laughs> Undyne? I've always gone for Asgore because I find it funnier. I always forget that all of them are correct. Okay. Oh, first, I'm not reading all of these. I'm not reading all of these. Oh, fuck. There was something I forgot to get. I'm not gonna do it because I actually didn't acquire the item and also because there's no fucking way I'm eating these. I've got instant noodles. Oh no. Oh yes. Preheat your ovens because we got a very special recipe for you today. We're making a cake. We've got all of the ingredients we need to make the cake. We're missing the most important ingredient. A human soul. A substitution? You mean use a different non-human ingredient? Entity brand always convenient human soul flavoured substitute. A can of which just happens to be unopened on that counter. Oh no, not the can of human soul flavoured substitute. We just made a cake that would have required a human soul. Human souls are red. I bought a strawberry cake and I liked the thought of a strawberry cake so much that I ate most of it already. Oh god, it's all creamy. It's all creamy. I need to wash my hands. I have strawberry cake filling on my hands. It's quite nice, to be fair. Some strawberry. Strawberry. I just said strawberry so quickly. Mmm. Tastes like human soul. I'm Heat's Flamesman. Remember my name. I won't. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Hang on. Hey, buddy. What's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? Thanks, kid. Here's your dog. Thanks, Sans. Can I buy another one? Hey, buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. Another hot dog. There you go. Imagine you had hot dogs. Yeah. You can have a hot cat instead. <laughs> hey, buddy, what's up? Wanna buy a hot dog? It's only 30G. You're holding too much. Guess I'll just put it on your head. Okay. It's good. I'm actually glad. Because I didn't buy any, like, hot dog buns or things to put it in. Turns out that was a good idea because there isn't any with sands either so I can actually get away with not having any because it's just it's just the meat and nothing else which is perfect for me. So I have this little hot dog. This little stick of meat. Um, mm -hmm. Fuck you Zeph. <laughs> no they all have physics. It's not cannibalism if the second person is a hot dog. Dinner with a girlfriend. 
There's a picture of a cat girl figurine next to a bowl of instant noodles. Are we posting hot pics? Here is me and my cool friend. Papyrus flexing in front of a mirror. He is wearing sunglasses. Giant muscular biceps are pasted onto his arms. The biceps are also wearing sunglasses. You crank up the thermostat. Pirate begins to get excited. I ate the hot dog. Knowing the mice might one day hack the computerized safe and get the cheese. I'm going to do something which you guys find really weird. It's pretty good cheese. Hey, you, stop. We, like... Actually, totally have to kill you and stuff. They're such good bros. Very good bros, if you know what I mean. Can't take it. Armor too hot. Much better. I, 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 I like, like you, bro. The way you fight, the way you talk. I love doing team attacks with you. I love standing here with you, bro. Bouncing and waving our weapons in sync. I, like, want, want to stay like this forever, bro. Do you want to, bro? Get some ice cream, bro. After this, bro. We love a good gay couple. Good evening, beauties and gentle beauties. This is Metaton reporting live from MTN News. Basketball's a blast, isn't it, darling? Too bad you can't play with these balls. <laughs> Wait a second. That's not a basketball. That's a bomb. It seems everything in this area is actually a bomb. That dog's a bomb. That present's a bomb. Even my words are... Curses, it seems like I've been foiled again. They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they love to stomp on them. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I heard that they're awfully stingy with their money. I thought you were someone that hated spiders. The person who asked for that soul, they must have met a different human in a striped shirt. Sorry for the trouble. This is a very good part of the game. Oh, that human. Could it be my one true love? Doodles. I will yell at Metaton. <laughs> it's time to get ratioed, Metaton. Time to get ratioed, bitch. <laughs> oh, the ratio. You've defeated me. <laughs> How can this be? Were you stronger than I thought? Etc. Oh, darling, what is this? Whatever could you mean by L plus ratio? Oh my god, it's Sans. I'll go to talk to Sans afterwards. Holy shit. It's Bratty and Catty. Oh my god, what can I buy? I can buy junk food! I can buy- <laughs> Do I want to start with the junk food? I can start with the empty gun. I can start with the empty gun. It's cardboard. I need to legally clarify this is cardboard. It's literally- you can see the cardboard like peeling off from the sides. Junk food was an interesting one, right? I walked all over the place trying to find something that would represent junk food. I ended up just trying to find something which looked really bad and looked <laughs> really really dumb so what did i acquire i acquired <laughs> my interpretation of junk food is this little pepper pig ice lolly <laughs> it's the dumbest looking thing i could find what am i gonna do with it i'm gonna rip her head off the potato streams everybody it's strawberry flavored so um, i'm sure that was very unexpected it gets worse. Yes, I love this scene, it's such a cool scene. And what did I bring along for this scene? My Sans plush. It's Sansy. Can I, t I, can I take it off? Can I take, I can take it off. 
I can take it off! <laughs> I knock at the door and say, knock, knock. Suddenly, from the other side, I hear a woman's voice. Who is there, my child? <laughs> Kept telling each other jokes for hours. Tell her bad jokes at the door. It rolls. One day, though, I noticed she wasn't laughing very much. If a human ever comes through this door, my child, would you please, please promise something? Watch over them. And protect them. Well, you're not. No, I hate making promises. And this woman? I don't even know her name. But. Someone who sincerely likes bad jokes. And an integrity you can't say no to. I promise I made to her. You know what would have happened if she hadn't said anything? Buddy. You'd be dead where you stand. Well, that's all. Take care of yourself, kid. Someone who really cares about you. I like that line. There's everyone obsessing over, oh, despite everything, it's still you. That is a cool line. But my favorite line in this game is take care of yourself, kid, because someone really cares about you. Okay, before we go in, I must really, really resist the temptation to sing. Fuck, I've lost already. Go to the right and keep heading up. The room to the right, you say, Alphys? Fuck you, I'm going to the left. Oh my god, a magic. Ma magic. <laughs> Why did I never realise that? Magic? Okay, we're at the end of the call. Oh, it's Metaton time, guys. Oh yes, there you are, darling. It's time to have our little showdown. It's time to finally solve the malfunctioning robot. Not. Malfunction? Reprogramming? Get real. This is all just a big show, an act. Alpha has been playing you for a fool the whole time. As she watched you on the screen, she grew attached to your adventure. So she decided to insert herself into your story, just like I inserted myself into your mother. Listen, darling, I've seen you fight. You're weak. You tell Metaton that there is a mirror behind him. Hmm, I don't see it. Where is it? Did you just flip my switch? Oh, yeah. <laughs> if you flip my switch, that can only mean one thing. Lucky for you, I've been aching to show this off for a long time. So as thanks, I'll give you a handsome reward. I'll make your last living moments absolutely beautiful. Bum, bum, fuck, bum, bum. What do you love most about Metaton? Fuck, what is it? What's the, what's the funny one? What's the, what's the funny thing that he likes? Legs. That's right. Legs was the correct answer. <laughs> I should have typed in Among Us. <laughs> Why did I not type in Among Us? Oh no, not his arms! Arms? Who needs arms with legs like these? I love that line. Oh, well, darling, it's either me or you. I think we both already know who's gonna win. Witness the true power of humanity's star. <laughs> oh, look at these ratings. This is the most viewers I've ever had. For each the viewer, call in milestone. What do you have to say on this? Our last show. Oh. Hi, Metaton. I really liked watching your show. Can't tell, but I guess it's the last episode. I miss you, Metaton. Oh, that means talk so long. Oh, I'll take another caller. Metaton. <laughs> There's a Metaton-shaped hole in my Metaton-shaped heart. Everyone, thank you all so much. In a few moments, I'll run out of battery power, and I'll be alright. Welcome, Dad, darling. I love that line. Uh, let's keep going. Oh, a bot. We have a bot, guys. We have a bot. So you you better meet Gascor, huh? You, you must be. You, you must be. P pretty excited about all that, huh? You'll finally get to go home. W wait, I, I lied to you. A human soul isn't strong enough to cross the barrier alone. If you want to go home, you'll have to take his soul. You'll have to kill Asgore. Alphys is a very in-depth character, if you don't initially think so. She's a lot more in-depth than you may think. If you kill Asgore, Frisk is just like, I just want to play Minecraft. Um... Apparently, a uh, long elevator is just Toby Fox's washing machine. New home, everybody. Azrael, the king's son, heard the humans call. Where are the knives? Despite everything, it's still you. The line! It's my second favorite line in the game. The kingdom fell into despair. Oh my god, I had to say that again because I'm not playing the oh my god in the video. You should be smiling too. Aren't you excited? Aren't you happy? You're going to be free. Da -da -da -da. So you finally made it. The end of your journey is at hand. In a few moments, you'll meet the king. You'll be judged for every, your every action. But you? You never gained any love. Of course, that doesn't mean you're completely innocent or naive. 
Just that you get a certain tenderness in your heart. I let Monster Kid die. Your actions here will determine the fate of the entire world. You have something called determination, so as long as you hold on. So as long as you do what's in your heart, I believe you can do the right thing. We're all counting on you, kid. Good luck. Thank you, Sans. Thank you, funny skeleton man. It's a coffin. There's a name engraved on it. Chara. It's empty. And you're going in it! I refuse to acknowledge that absolutely horrendous piece of media. Primarily because Nagi took a mida. Howdy. How can I... Nice day today, huh? Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like these, <laughs> kids like you. You know what we must do when you are ready. Come into the next room. I really don't like how deep my voice is, but it's perfect for Asgore. Just think of it like a visit to the dentist. The dentist doesn't try to fucking kill me. This is the barrier. This is what keeps us all trapped underground. Continue. Go back. I love how he actually says that. It's not just a normal dialogue thing. He actually says, continue and go back. Human, it was nice to meet you. Goodbye. Ba, 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 ba. No. Okay, so I have to actually fight him. <laughs> Everyone in chat is saying fingers in his ass. Give me the auto mod settings, Twitch. I have to allow. I have to manually allow in his ass. Guys, I have no food. Guys, I have no food. I need to eat it, or I will die. I have them ready. Chat does not want me to eat the snow piece, but I have no food. The dog shit won't do anything. It just makes more dog shit. I have to eat the marshmallow. I'll take the risk. I'm probably going to die. I'm definitely going to die. <laughs> Fuck you all. There we go. Hey, Asgore. Hey, Asgore. Hey, hey, Asgore. Hey, Asgore. Hey, hey, hey Asgore. But butterscotch cinnamon. Um, oh. I remember. <laughs> Human, I promise you. For as long as you remain here, my wife and I will take care of you as best we can. You idiot! You haven't learned a thing in this world. It's a kill or kill beat world. Oh my god! What's going on, guys? I can't, I can't do it. I can't do cringe YouTube reactions. No! Not my save file! Oh my fucking god, a flower. You really did a number on that old fool. But now, with your help, he's dead. And I have cut the human souls. Ah, uh, You're feeling left out, aren't you? After all, I only have six souls. I still need one more. Before I become god. That was my best flowery impression. I hate how it's actually possible to do this without getting hit. Yes, heal me. Ah, fuck flies. Ah, nukes. I'm yet to have died. I will likely die though. There we go. Without even dying. Fuck you, Flowey. Oh. Fucking deathless. No, no, this can't be happening. You idiot. <laughs> oh, fuck, I died. Get epically trolled. Souls? What are they doing? <laughs> Guys, what do we do? It literally does not matter, I don't think. I'm pretty sure it doesn't matter what we do here. What are you doing? Do you really think I've learned anything from this? If you let me live, I'll kill you. I'll kill everyone you love. Why are you being so nice to me? I just can't understand. Flowey ran away. It's a flower. How did he run away? Well, anyway, we can leave now. That was Undertale. Guys, we're done with Undertale. I'm gonna have the snowball now, okay? I'm gonna have the snowball. Because I finished the game and there's nothing stopping me, so I'm just gonna eat the snowball now. Is that okay with you guys? I'm eating the snowball. It's a very nice snowball. Hey, yeah, just calling to say. Made a snowman really happy. You guys happy? So, it's been a while. The queen returned. And they're rolling over the underground. Sans! Who are you talking to? Oh, nobody. What? Nobody? Can I talk to them too? Hey, human! The queen disbanded the royal guard. Since we don't have to fight humans anymore. I have no idea what to do with my life. But Paris is fine. And Dine is the one that's got it bad. She lost her job. Then she lost her house. It was sad, but we're taking care of her. 
She lives on the couch now. It's like a sleepover every night. Sleepover that there's no escape from. Well, keep your fingers crossed. And keep in touch. It'll make our plans easier. Bye. Why did you let me go? Do you realise that being nice just makes you get hurt? Have you already did everything the right way? Why do things still end up like this? Why? Is life really that unfair? What if I told you I knew some way to get you a better ending? You'll have to load your save file and, well, in the meantime, why don't you go see Papyrus? Then Undyne. I was giving him a Papyrus voice, I just realised. Hey, hey, do you remember my name? I do. He's Flamesman. What, you remember? Hello, Papyrus. So you came back to have a date with me. You must be really serious about this. Come on. Cock and Bolt I have to take you someplace really special. A place I like to spend a lot of time. Come on, Papyrus. My house. It's a dirty sock with a series of notes on it. Sans, please pick up your sock. Okay. Don't put it back down. Move it. Okay. You moved it two inches. Move it to your room. Okay. And don't bring it back. Okay. It's still here. Can you just say not to bring it back to my room? Forget it. This is my brother's pet rock. He always forgets to feed it. As usual, I have to take responsibility. That's my room. We could go in and uh, do whatever people do when they date. Here we are on our date. I've actually never done this before. But don't worry, you can't spell prepared without several letters from my name. I snagged an official dating rule book from the library. Wowie! I feel so informed. I love the egg. Human! I, the great papyrus, will go on a date with you. Fortunately, it only says to ask. I guess that means it's time for part three. Put on nice clothes to show you care. Wait a second. Wear clothing? The tutu around your waist. You're wearing clothing right now. Earlier today, you were also wearing clothing. No. Could it be? You've wanted to date me from the very beginning. You're way better at dating than I am. No, your dating power. <laughs> Don't think you've bested me yet. I, the great papyrus. I've never been beating at dating, and I never will. You see, I, too, can wear clothing. In fact, I always wear my special clothes underneath my regular clothes. What do you think of my secret style? No, a genuine compliment. However, there seems to be one- You don't truly understand the hidden power of this outfit. Therefore, what you've said is invalid. This date won't escalate any further, unless you find my secret. There's no secret to my legs. Just hard work and perseverance. Well then, you found my secret. It's a present. A present just for you. Do you know what this is? Spaghetti? That's what you're thinking, isn't it? Right. But oh, so wrong. This ain't any plain old pasta. This is an artisan's work. Silk and spaghetti, finely aged in an oaken cask, then cooked by me, Master Chef Papyrus. Take a small bite. The taste is indescribable. What a passionate expression. You must really love my cooking. And by extension, me. Human. It's clear now. You're madly in love with me. Everything you do, everything you say, it's all been for my sake. It's time for me to express my feelings. It's time that I told you. I, Papyrus. I, um, I don't like you the way you like me. Romantically, I mean. But alas, I, the great Papyrus, have failed. I feel just the same as before. And instead, by dating you, I have only drawn you deeper into your intense love for me. Human, I'll help you through these trying times. I'll keep being your cool friend and act like this n all never happened. And hey, someday you'll find someone as great as me. Well, no, that's not true. But I'll help you settle for second best. Tralala, la Temi Village. The room before the darkening lantern room. I have my Tem Flakes, which is actually supposed to be canonically coloured construction paper. I don't have that, so I have cinnamon squares. Oh, the human arrives. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? Make sure to give her this. She loves these. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you on their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered. I have to go to the bathroom. <laughs> you two have fun. So why are you here? Do you think that I'm going to be friends with you? Huh? You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you, but I guess I overestimated her. She's just not up for the challenge. Challenge what? He thinks I can't be friends with you? Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I just love how Papyrus just straight up, like, jumps out of the window. Oh, wait a second. Papyrus is cooking lesson? He was supposed to have that right now. And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him. <laughs> <laughs> but she just picks them up. Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy. Now, pound them to dust with your fists. You punch the vegetables with full force. You knock over a tomato. Our hearts are uniting against these healthy ingredients. All right, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is. Ready? Let's do it. Turn up the heat, let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Wait, that's too... Who am I kidding? I already screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. I even failed to befriend you. That's it. Come on, hit me with all you've got. I will make the first attack. That's the best you can manage. <laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time, but uh, somewhere else, I guess. This is sudden, but can you deliver something for me? It's addressed to Dr. Alphys. Okay, see ya. Oh, no. Is that another letter? I don't want to open it. D d did you write this letter? It wasn't signed, so I had no idea who could have. And I had no idea you um, wrote that way. So passionately, too. Yeah, let's let's go on a date. Uh, do you like anime? What if I say no? <laughs> oh, this is where Undyne and I come all the time. Oh no. That's her over there. I can't let her see me on a date with you. Hey, th there you are. I, uh, realised if you deliver that thing, it might be a bad idea. Huh? You don't have it? So she's somewhere around here? Thanks. I'll, I'll keep looking. Oh my god. Well, I guess it's obvious, huh? I, uh, I really like her. But, I mean, she's way out of my league. She's so confident and strong and funny. And I'm just a nobody. I'm the royal scientist, but all I've ever done is hurt people. I've told her so many lies. She thinks I'm, she thinks I'm a lot cooler than I actually am. If she gets close to me, she'll, she'll find out the truth about me. What should I do? Tell her the truth, Alphys. How can I tell Undyne the, the, the truth? <laughs> let's role play it. Obviously, let's role play. That actually sounds kind of fun. <laughs> okay, which one of us will be Undyne? I will be Undyne. Hi, Undyne. How are you doing today? You're cute. <laughs> Uh, so I'd like to, um, talk to you about something. <laughs> she kisses you! What? <laughs> and I would never, uh... <laughs> I kiss her back <laughs> softly. I don't think I've ever clicked these before, and if I have, I've completely forgotten them. I start hollering. And I love you. And I kiss me. <laughs> what did you just say? Are you two on a date? Actually, we're only romantically role-playing as you. <laughs> What? Why have I forgotten all of this? How have I forgotten all of this dialogue? Undyne, I, I, I've been lying to you. About what? About, well, everything. I, I told you that seaweed was like scientifically important. Really, I just used it to make ice cream. And, and those history, human history books I keep reading, they were just dorky comic books. And the history movies, those those are just uh, anime. They, they aren't real. And that time I told you I was busy with work on the phone, I I was eating frozen yogurt in my pajamas. I, I, I just wanted to impress you. I, I just wanted to think I was selfless. <laughs> Elphys, you bitch! Oh my god, she was kidding, right? Those cartoons, those comics, those are still real, right? Anime is real, right? Guys, is anime real? <laughs> Guys, is anime real? In conclusion, anime is real. Howdy! If it isn't my good friend, who trusts me? This is Papyrus. You're also a mutual friend. Elphys and I finished our training early, so I sent her home. Very home. I feel strongly, and for no apparent reason. You should also go there. To her lab house. I have only good feelings about this. Goodbye. I kind of want to talk to the duck. The duck that carries me over a disproportionately small gap. Fridge is filled with instant noodles and soda. You're the instant noodles. I did. <laughs> I had a packet of instant noodles. But um, the problem is, I can't be bothered to go away and cook it. In genocide, you eat it raw. So I could do the same. I could just eat this raw. It's a common snack you have. People just bite into this as a snack. I'm just gonna... That's actually not that bad. Like completely honest, that's actually not that bad. <laughs> hey, thanks for your hat back there. Your support really means a lot to me. But as difficult as it is to say this, you guys alone can't magically make my own problems go away. If you want to know the, the truth, enter the door to the north of this note. You will at least deserve to know what I did. Warning, warning. Elevator losing power. EM tether stability lost. Altitude dropping. Frisk fucking died.
Oh, spooky. True lab, true lab, true lab. Buy chips for 25G. I'll buy some chips. Sorry, crisps. So this random ass machine will probably dispense the most plain default flavor. So I bought some really basic branded ready salted ones. Very nice. Cum. <laughs> Evil cum. Now that Metaton's made it big, he never talks to me anymore. Except to ask when I'm going to finish his body. I'm afraid if I finish his body, he won't need me anymore. Not to mention, every time I try to work on it, I just get really sweaty. Oh no! Come! <laughs> Endogeny! There's a VHS player with a few tapes picked out besides it. They seem to be labelled in a specific order. Now, if I were a dog, what breed of dog would I be? I'm sick of your shit, Toriel. Okay, Chara, you ready? Chara, I am I'm doing it out of spite. I I don't like this idea. Chara. Chara! Chara! It's Chara! Oh shit. Come. <laughs> Here they come. <laughs> hey, stop! I got you guys some food, okay? Be happy. Come on, guys. It's time for everyone to go home. The first golden flower that grew before all the others. The flower from the outside world. It appears just before the queen left. No wonder. What happens when something without a soul gains the will to live? The flower's gone. That's <laughs> it. Just the flower's gone. It's a voice you have never heard before. How did you get this number? Chara, are you there? See you soon. You guys ready? Human. It was nice to meet you. Goodbye. <laughs> Get fucked. Yo, it's it's it is it's the tutorial character. To leave this place, you'd have to take the life of another person. You'd have to defeat Asgore. However, there seems to be one more sussy left to find. It's not right to sacrifice someone simply to let someone leave here. Is that not what I've been trying to prevent this whole time? You could have gone through the barrier after you got one soul. Taken six souls from the humans, then come back and freed everyone peacefully. But instead you made everyone live in despair. Despair, you say? Hey Asgore, is that your ex? <laughs> Jeez, that's rough, buddy. Uh, uh, hi! There's two of them? <laughs> hey! Nobody fight anybody! If anyone fights anyone, then I'll be forced to ask Undyne for help. Hello! Oh, hello! Your Majesty. Psst. Hey, human! Did Asgore shave and clone himself? The name Sans. This must be your brother, Papyrus. He's crying! Look at him! Wowie! I can't believe Asgore's clone knows who I am! This is the best day of my life! Hey, Papyrus. What is the skeleton tileless roof with? Hmm... Snowproof roof tiles? No, silly. A skeleton tiles is a roof with... Shingles. I changed my mind! This is the worst day of my life. My child, it seems as if you must stay here for a while. But looking at all the great friends you have made, I think you'll be happy here. Hey, that reminds me. Papyrus, you, you called everyone here, alright? If I got here before you, how did you know how to call everybody? Let's just say... A tiny flower helped me. Not a tiny flower! You idiots! While well, you guys were having your little powwow, I took the human souls. And now, not only are those under my power, but all of your friends are souls that can be mine too. And you know what the best part is? It's all your fault. It's all because you made them love you. All the time you spent listening to them, encouraging them, caring about them. Without that, they wouldn't have had come here. And now, with their souls and the humans together, I will achieve my real form. Listen, if you do defeat me, I'll give you a happy ending. I'll bring your friends back. I'll destroy the barrier. Everyone will finally be satisfied. But that won't happen. You. I'll keep you here no matter what. Even if it means killing you a million times. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. What? Do not be afraid, my child. No matter what happens, we will always be there to protect you. That's right, human. You can win. Just do what I would do. Hey, human, if you got past me, you can do anything. So don't worry. We're with you all the way. Huh? You haven't beaten this guy yet? Uh, technically, it's impossible for you to beat him. But somehow, I know you can do it. Human. For the future of humans and monsters, you have to stay determined. Look at him. Look at Flowey. He looks so pissed. Unbelievable. This can't be happening. He can't believe you're all so stupid. All of your souls are mine. Finally. I was so tired of being a flower. Howdy. It's me. Your best friend. That was a real dream, man. Hopes and dreams, guys. So I, I need to show cool thing. I, I will show in a moment. Uh, guys, we're going to hope. Hold on to your hopes. 
You've reduced how much damage I'll take this turn. Oh fuck the gay. Guys, I needed to find the most rainbowy thing I could find. And the most rainbowy thing I could find? You think it'd be Skittles? What was the most rainbowy thing I could find? Moan pimples. I also got these little rainbowy these little rainbowy marshmallows. They're sour, they're gay, and they're colourful. A marshmallow and some sour sweets. Having both at once might be great. It's actually not bad together. It's not terrible together. It's so hard to see what's going on in the stars. All of the gay. Isn't that delicious? Your determination, the power that let you get this far. It's going to be your downfall. Now enough messing around. It's time to purchase timeline once and for all. Oh shit. Oh shit, I'm being consumed. Up until now I've only been using a fraction of my real power. Let's see what good determination is against this. Fucking Elon Gates. Can't move your body. I can feel it. Every time you die, your grip on this world slips away. Every time you die, your friends forget you a little more. Your life will end here. In a world where no one remembers you. Still, you're hanging on. That's fine. In a few moments, you'll forget everything. Can't move your body. Nothing happened. You struggle. Nothing happened. You tried to reach your save file. Nothing happened. Seems saving the game really is impossible. But maybe with what little power you have, you can save something else. Reach out to Azrael's soul and call out to your friends. The lost soul appeared. All humans will die. Well, some, some humans are okay, I guess. I'm forgetting how to talk. I must capture a human. Just give up. I did. No, wait, you're my friend. I could never capture you. Yeah, I'm one of you, kid. In the depths of Azrael's soul, something is resonating. Res resonating. I can't talk. You hate me, don't you? I uh, know, that's not true. My, my friends like me. Um, I like you too. This is for your own good. Forgive me for this. The fate is up to you now. You are our future. Strangely, as your friends remembered you, something else began resonating within the soul, stronger and stronger. It seems that there's still one last person that needs to be saved. You reach out and call their name. What did you do? What is this feeling? What's happening to me? No, no, I don't need anyone. Stop it, get away from me. Do you hear me? I'll tear you apart. Kara, do you know why I'm doing this? Why I keep fighting to keep you around? I'm doing this because you're special. Kara, you're the only one that understands me. You're the only one who's any fun to play with anymore. I'm not ready for this to end. I'm not ready for you to leave. I'm not ready to say goodbye to someone like you again. Just let me win. Stop it! Stop it now! I'm so alone. I'm so afraid, Kara. Kara, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I, I know. You're not actually Kara, are you? Kara's been gone for a long time. What? What is your name? Frisk. That's a nice name. I haven't felt like this for a long time. As a flower, I was soulless. I like the power to love other people. However, there seems to be one more sussy left to find. Right now, I can feel everyone's hearts beating as one. They're all burning with the same desire. With everyone's power, with everyone's determination, it's time for monsters to finally go free. Frisk, it's best if you just forget about me, okay? Just go be with the people who love you.
We love Azriel. Frisk, please, wake up. Oh, you're awake. Thank goodness. Tell us next time you decide to take a nap, okay? Yeah. Your pirates cry like a baby. What? I didn't cry. I don't cry. I just caught something in my eye. What'd you catch? The tears. When you are ready, we will all return to the surface. It seems the door to the east will lead us there now. Do as you wish. We'll all wait for you here. Guys, what should I do? Because we can just end the game. We can walk off. We can leave through the barrier. Asriel? Oh god. It's a long walk. It's a long walk back to Azrael. Go to the source? Okay. It's the only one that's closed. The coffin is empty? You didn't notice before, but there's something like mummy wrappings at the bottom of it. Mummy wrappings? Hello, snowman! Mr. Snowman! I still have your snowball. I still have the snowball, friend. I'm gonna eat it in front of you. Ah! I can feel that piece of me being well taken care of. Guys, should I take Sansa's clothes off? Now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right. Pressing X. You've really matured, haven't you? I suppose some things never change. So I've really wanted another spider donut, so having one. I'm having a Jaffa cake donut. That's the best I can do. I dropped it on the floor! It's fine, it comes in a little package. Now, when normal people, if they, ha if they had to um, eat cheese, they'll probably get like a slice of cheese or some grated cheese. Not me. <laughs> there he is. Don't worry about me. Someone's to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? Good job. That's what he says, just good job. There you are, Frisk darling. Feast your eyes, Dr. Arthur's completed my wonderful new body. Oh, and did you hear? The barrier's open. I can't wait to see the sun. The greatest spotlight of all. Oh yeah, so you know in Alphys's place, you can get instant noodles? Hey, Sean. It seems like you really botched your quest, Frisk. But I, the great Papyrus, will always be your friend. No matter how hard you try to get rid of him. Hey! That's true. So, Alphys. What do you want to do now that we're all free? We have the whole world to explore now. Well, of course I'm going to go out and... Um, no. I should be honest. I'm going to stay inside and watch anime like a total loser. That's the spirit! <laughs> Everyone, a celebration to being losers! Um, what's an anime? <laughs> oh my god. So it's like a cartoon, but with swords. Golly, that sounds neato. <laughs> um, that's the... That, that's the wrong... Uh, never mind. Golly, were those two robots... <laughs> Boy, technology sure is something. I think it's time to leave the underground, guys. I'm ready. Oh, hi. Isn't it beautiful? Everyone? Frisk, y you live with this? The sun is so nice and... The air is so fresh. I already feel alive. Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? I call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowie! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! This is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk, I have something to ask of you. Top of the building on the right. It's sus! <laughs> it's fucking sus! Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Yeah, Frisk will be the best ambassador. And I, the great Papyrus, We'll be the best mascot. I'll give you a good first impression. Well, someone's gonna keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, wait up! Well, we gotta go. Seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. Frisk, you came from this world, right? Do you wish for a place to return to, do you not? I will happily stay with you. What? Frisk. You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I'll do my best to take care of you, for as long as you need, alright? Now, come along. Everyone is waiting for us. <laughs> Fucking love this game. <laughs> Yo, lesbians. Guys, look at the snowball, it's really cute. Why did I never notice that he actually did carve a hedge in the shape of Papyrus's face? 
like he really wanted. Why did I never notice that tiny little detail? Bum, bum. Bum, bum, bum. Bum, 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 bum. I've done a thing for this stream and it's uh, interesting to say the least. But I have done a thing and the thing involves trying to look not evil, not really evil, but just more or less just rough in a way. Like I've pretty much the same thing. This is like torn a little bit from the previous stream, I guess. I've got like the thing, which was, this is normally like a little necklace, it's not a necklace, I've now got it around my wrist. Intentionally messy. I also put on this really messy, untidy wig, which I haven't worn in years. And it's perfect for this because it's supposed to look really rough. There's also plasters on me. I'm fine. I'm not fine. I'm gonna be doing Undertale genocide. Lots of death will be happening tonight. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. I don't want to do this, but also I really do want to do this. Monster returns to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Something I have to worry about. Well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? You still have the power to erase everything. I do. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now the idea of resetting everything. I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just let them go. Let first be happy. Let first live their life. Well, that's all. See you later. Chara. Kara. Oh my god, I have fallen down! Whatever will happen now? Howdy! I'm Flowey. Flowey the flower. Golly, you must be so confused. Shut the fuck up, Flowey, I'm gonna kill you. Congratulations, you got mother! Temporary mother. I am Toriel, caretaker of the ruins. Not for much longer. As a human living in the underground, monsters may attack you. You will need to be prepared for this situation. When you encounter a monster, you will enter a fight. While you are in a fight, strike up a friendly conversation. Practice talking to the dummy. <laughs> talking, you say? I will talk a little aggressively. Fuck you, bitch. There's another puzzle in this room. I wonder if you can solve it. I think I know what the puzzle is. I think it's murder. Fuck you, dickhead. <laughs> I will cut those balls off. A whimson! Fuck you, dickhead. Frog it, more like fuck it, goodbye. Actually, maybe not. Hello, Wimson. More like, no longer a son, you're dead. Frog it sounds an awful lot like Reddit. That is why we are slaughtering it, everybody. I am not committing mass genocide. I am merely doing the world an injustice. I, I think I need more glasses. Maybe when we get to Undyne, maybe I'll put on some more because she is going to butcher me a little bit. We should get butchered first if I'm in a bit of a salmon -y mood. I don't like fish. <laughs> Blooky, I do not want to harm you. However, you can't kill ghosts, right? Die, you fucking cum sock. Um, you do know you can't kill ghosts, right? I lost one experience point. I want a spider donut. I am a murderer with standards. I have heard you are quite merciful for a human. Surely you know by now a monster has a yellow name and you can spare it. What do you think of that? It's bad. I just realized it's been a while since I've cleaned up. I do not care, Toriel. I am going to slaughter you. Oh my god, it's Mike Wazowski! <laughs> Fuck you. But nobody came. Death. Destruction. Everyone is dead. Everyone except one. How did you get here, my child? Are you hurt? It is a, it is a butterscotch cinnamon pie. I thought we might celebrate your arrival. I wanted to have a nice time living here. So I'll hold off on snail pie for tonight. Give me the snail pie. It's me. Kara. Where are the knives? Um, I need to know how glad I am to have someone here. Oh, you shouldn't be. I want to show you my favourite bug hunting spot. How about my favourite goat hunting spot? Where the fuck are you running, bitch? Get the fuck back here. Prove to me you were strong enough to survive. <laughs> oh, I will survive. I have nothing to worry about. Fool. Now I see who I was protecting by keeping you here. Not you. But them. You're fucking dead. Fuck you, bitch. For legal reasons. Toriel is one of my favourite characters. <laughs> You're not really human, are you? No. You're empty inside, just like me. In fact, you're Kara, right? We're still inseparable after all these years. Let's destroy everything in this wretched world. Everyone, everything in these worthless memories. Let's turn them all to dust. Sans, where are you? Come back, you fucking- <laughs> He fucking zoomed! He just fucking zoomed! Don't you know how to greet a new pal? Oh my god, is that Sans? <laughs> the old whoopee cushion in the hand trick. It's always funny. That's uh, a cute laugh. Or a uh, toe mode at all. Sans! 
Have you found a human yet? Yeah. Really? Wowie. Guess that's settled. That worked out, huh? So Sans, when's the human showing up? I want to look my Sunday best. Or at least my Tuesday pretty good. Sans! Oh my god! Oh my god! I have no idea what that is! Well, it's on a rock. On a rock? Oh no! By process of elimination! That means it's a human! And you're even bad than I, huh? Sans knows what we're gonna do. Do something move? Was it my imagination? Guys, I feel like a couple of snowballs right about now. Hello, I'm a snowman. I cannot move. You're the snowman piece. Oh, me. Oh my, what are you doing? Soon there won't be any of me left. You got the snowman piece. S stop, please. You got the snowman piece. Useless pile of snow. Fuck you. You little cum puddle. <laughs> ah. Why couldn't we get a human that likes puzzles? Poor Papyrus. Too bad he's gonna die. Lesser dog! <laughs> Dead dog. What's the smell? Why is that smell? If you were a smell, Identify your smell. I'm intentionally being a complete dick. Greater dog, greater dead. Say, I've been thinking. Seems like you're gonna fight my brother pretty soon. Here's some friendly advice. If you keep going the way you are now, you're gonna have a bad time. He said the funny guys. Yo, everyone ran away and I hit somewhere. Man, adults can be so dumb sometimes. Do they know we've got Undyne to protect us? Do you wanna fucking die? Halt, human. Hey, quit moving while I'm talking to you. I, the Great Papyrus, have some things to say. First, you're a freaking weirdo. I, Papyrus, see great potential within you. Everyone can be a great person if they try. And me, I hardly have to try at all. I think you are in need of guidance. Someone needs to keep you on the straight and narrow. But worry not, I, Papyrus, will gladly be your friend and tutor. I will turn your life right around. I see you are approaching. Are you offering a hug of acceptance? Wowie, my lessons are already working. I, Papyrus, welcome you with open arms. Papyrus is sparing you. <laughs> How cute. Well, that's not what I expected. Still, I, I believe in you. You can do a little better. Even if you don't think so. I, I promise. Much better. Silence at last. Yo, are you sneaking out to see her too? Awesome. She's the coolest, right? I want to be just like her when I grow up. Hey, hey don't tell my parents I'm here. <laughs> They're probably dead already. Aaron flexes in. <laughs> Not for long. There's no onion sands either. Good. Chiron! <laughs> Diron. Yeah, you can't hold an umbrella either. If you're walking anyway, I, I guess I'll go with you. <laughs> Please leave me alone. I fucking hate you. <laughs> Man, Undyne is so cool. She beats a bad guys and never loses. Oh, about that. Seems like a regular training dummy. Do you want to beat it up? Fuck yeah. You punch a dummy at full force. Feels good. <laughs> Fool! You think you can hurt me? I am the ghost that lives inside of a dummy. My cousin used to live inside a dummy too. Until you came along. Not only did your actions cause them to leave their home, but now all of their neighbours are gone too. Despicable, despicable, despicable. You're the worst person I've ever met. I've never been more mad. My mannequin level's going off the charts. This... this feeling. Human, that moment of unbridled emotion. It allowed me to finally fuse in my body. I'm finally corporeal now. My lifelong dream, realised. In return, I guess I won't stop you. How's that, son? Uh, Undyne told me to stay away from you. She said you... you hurt a lot of people. And what's with that weird expression? Oh, oh man. Man, my heart's pounding right out of my chest. Fuck you, you little... thing. <laughs> And I, you're hurt. Hurt? It's nothing. Next time, listen when I tell you to leave. It's nothing. No. Somehow, with just one hit, I'm already. Already. Damn it. No. My body. It feels like it's splitting apart. Like any instance, it'll scatter into a million pieces. But deep, deep in my soul, there is a burning feeling I can't describe. A burning feeling that won't let me die. This isn't just about monsters anymore, is it? If you get past me, you'll... You'll destroy them all, won't you? Monsters, humans, everyone. Everyone's hopes, everyone's dreams vanquish in an instant. But I won't let you do that. Right now, everyone in the world, I could feel their, heart, feel their hearts beating as one. And we will have one goal. To defeat you, human. No, whatever you are. For the sake of the whole world. I, Undyne, will strike you down. Okay, this is um, 
I think this might actually be my favourite fight in the game. Sans is cool, because he's iconic, but like, I like this. Like the whole, like, the name as well, Battle Against a True Hero. If you're blind into the game, you don't understand the implications of what everything's going on, but she's like the only thing stopping you from destroying everyone. It's crazy, I love that. How long can I say damageless? I'm probably gonna hit this turn next, I'm being cocky. One more, one more. One more! <laughs> eh. <laughs> so even that power wasn't enough? Yeah. If you think I'm gonna give up hope, you're, you're wrong. Alpha's told me that she would watch me fight you. And if anything went wrong, she would evacuate everyone. But now she's called Asgore and told him to absorb the six human souls. And with that power, this world will live on. And she's gone. Anyway, moving on. You ugly little creature. You made quite a name for yourself. Oh. How sassy. You're just itching to get your hands on me, aren't you? This world needs stars more than it needs corpses. Doodles. Vulcan. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> Thunder plane. Falling plane. But, but I never got to... High rope. <laughs> Die rope. I'm sorry, gay guards. I love you guys. However, I want you. Okay, you can join him. I feel like... Spider. Did you hear what she said? They said a human wearing a striped shirt will come through. I heard that they hate spiders. I heard that they hate everybody. I heard that they like to tear their legs off. I heard that they have some awful taste. What a shame. A human comes through and they aren't even fit to be eaten. Oh well. Rotten ingredients can always be done. <laughs> this little spider. It's... you feel bad for the little spider. Guys. Look at, like, the edge of this path I'm on, this bridge. <laughs> they, they look a little bit sus. My, my. She finally arrived. You're not just a threat to monsters, but humanity as well. Oh my, that's an issue. You see, I can't be a star without an audience. As any true fan would know, I was first created as a human eradication robot. It was only after becoming a star that I was given a more photogenic body. However, there seems to be one more sussy left to fight. Those original functions have never been fully removed. You ready? It's showtime. Pretty based. Hmm. Seems quite strong. Stage lights are blaring. He seems pretty strong. I guess you don't want to join my fan club. Howdy, Kara. You finally made it home. Remember when we used to play here? <laughs> I remember when I first woke up here in the garden. I couldn't feel my arms on my legs. My entire body had turned into a flower. Mom, Dad, somebody help me, I called out. But nobody came. If you don't have a soul, what happens when you 
Something primal starts burning inside me. No, I thought. I, I don't want to die. And I woke up. Like it was all just a bad dream. I was back at the garden. Back at my save point. At first, I used my powers for good. I became friends with everyone. Solved all their problems flawlessly. The companionship was amusing. For a while. It all started because I was curious. Curious what would happen if I killed them. I don't like this, I told myself. I'm just doing this because I have to know what happens. These were better than those sickers that stand around and watch it happen. But it's someone like that that's watching right now, aren't they? I feel cooled out. There's just one thing left I want to do. Let's finish what we started. Let's free everyone. Then, let's see what humanity's really like. That despite it all, this world is still kill up, kill be kill kill be kill kill be world. Creatures like us wouldn't hesitate to kill each other if we got in each other's way. So that's so that's why. <laughs> What's this feeling? Why am I shaking? <laughs> Car no no hard feelings about that, right? I have changed my mind about all this. This is, this isn't a good idea anymore. So um, it's time. It's time, guys. Hey, yeah. you've been busy, huh? So, uh, I've got a question for you. Do you think even the worst person can change? That everybody can be a good person if they just try? Alright. Well, here's a better question. Do you want to have a bad time? If you take another step forward, you're really not going to like what happens next. Well, sorry, old lady. This is why I never make promises. It's a beautiful day outside. Birds are singing. Flowers are blooming. On days like these, kids like you should be burning in hell. Fuck! I haven't done this in so long! <laughs> Always wonder why people never use their strongest attack first. I'm gonna get fucking annihilated. Our report shows a massive anomaly in time space continuum. Time is jumping from left to right, stopping and starting. Until suddenly, everything ends. <laughs> That's your fault, isn't it? You can't understand how this feels. Knowing that one day, without any warning, it's all going to be reset. But I gave up trying to go back a long time ago. Getting to the surface doesn't really appeal anymore either. So even if we do, we'll just end up right back here. By the memory of it, right? To be blunt, it makes it kind of hard to give it a mile. Or is it just a poor excuse for being lazy? Hell if I know. All I know is, see what comes next. I can't afford not to care anymore. That being said, you were uh, really like swinging that thing around, huh? Listen, I need you to ask me before, but somewhere in there, I can feel it. There's a glimmer of a good person inside of you. Maybe someone who once wanted to do the right thing. Someone who, in another time, might have even been a friend. Come on, buddy. Do you remember me? Please. If you're listening, let's forget all this, okay? Just lay down your weapon, and, uh, well, my job will be a lot easier. I'm halfway on my very first attempt. I'm not gonna do it, because it gets a lot harder. Oh, that was worth a shot. Guess you like doing things the hard way, huh? Sounds strange, but before this I was secretly hoping we'd be good friends. I always thought the anomaly was doing this because they weren't happy. When they got what they wanted, they would stop all this. Maybe all they needed was, I don't know, some good food, some bad laughs, some nice friends. That's ridiculous, right? <laughs> yeah, you're the type of person who will never be happy. You can shoot me in timelines over and over until, well, take it from me, kid. Someday, you gotta learn when to quit. If you keep pushing me, I'll be forced to use my special attack. Yeah, a special attack, sound familiar? Well, get ready. After the next move, I'm gonna use it. So, uh, if you don't want to see it, now'd be a good time to die. Well, 
There goes nothing. You ready? Survive this. I'll shoot my special attack. I was like a second away from doing that. <laughs> I was so close to doing that first try. Fuck yes! Fuck yes! <laughs> second attempt. Second fucking attempt. <laughs> I'm sorry, Sans, but you can't contain me. I'm here for one thing and one thing only, and that's to kill a fucking flower. <sighs> right, that's it. It's time for my special attack. You ready? Here goes nothing. <sighs> fucking hell. Yep. That's right. It's literally nothing. It's not gonna be anything either. <laughs> You get it? I know it can't be one of your turns. You're just gonna kill me. So, uh, I decided it's not gonna be your turn ever. I'm just gonna keep having my turn until you give up. Even if it means you have to stand here until the end of time. Capiche? You get bored here. If you haven't gotten bored already, I mean. And then you'll finally quit. I know your type. You're, uh, very determined, aren't you? You'll never give up. Even if there's, a uh, absolutely no benefit of persevering whatsoever. If I can make that clear. No matter what, you'll just keep going. Well, not have any desire for good or evil. Just because you think you can. And because you can. You have to. But now, you've reached the end. There is nothing left for you now. So, uh, in my personal opinion, the most determined thing you can do here is to, uh, completely give up and, uh, whew, do literally anything else. You sleep. Night, night, Sans. Goodbye, Sans. Hey, Sans. What does a skeleton tile his roof with? Shingles. Hey, did you really think you would be able to. So. Guess that's it, huh? Just don't say I didn't warn you. Oh well, I gotta grill these. Papyrus, do you want anything? Second try, I'm impressed. <laughs> I struggled more with Undyne than Sans. Curious. I've never seen a plant cry before. You must be the one that Flower was just warned me about. Howdy, what kind of monster are you? Sorry. I cannot tell. Well, we can always... Now, now. There's no need to fight. Why... You... See? I never betrayed you. It was all a trick. See? I, I was waiting for you to kill him for you. After all, it's me. Your best friend. I'm, I'm helpful. I can be useful to you. I, I promise I won't get in your way. I can help. I, I I can I I, I can <laughs> please d don't kill me. Greetings. I am Kara. Thank you. Your power awakened me from death. My human soul. My determination. They were not mine. Be yours first. I was so confused. Our planet failed, hadn't it? Why was I brought back to the life? You, with your guidance, I realized the purpose of my reincarnation. Power. Together, we eradicated the enemy and became strong. Now, now, we have reached the absolute. There is nothing left for us here. Let us erase this pointless world and move on. To the next. Right, you are a great partner. We'll be together forever, won't we? Interesting. You want to go back to the world you destroyed? It was you who pushed everything to its edge. It was you who led the world to its destruction. You cannot accept it. You think you're above consequences? Yes. Exactly. Perhaps we can reach a compromise. You still have something I want. Give it to me. I will bring this world back. 
island is agreed. You will give me your soul. Then it is done. Thank mm -hmm. you.